Put the cheese down. Ah. Calling for backup. <laughs> PC plod, here he comes. It's early in the morning in the Big Brother house. Oh, Ryan's hungover and he smells like cabbage. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So we are on our way to the gym. It's 20 past eight on a Sunday morning. We were up quite late drinking with our friends Chloe and Lee, or as you called him, Luke. <laughs> um, uh, we are just gonna go for a spin class because we're crazy. We are absolutely cray cray. And even Roscoe's not awake yet. There's no sign of life in the kitchen. Yep, he's not even awake. Should we go? Should we wake him up? Good morning. Oh, look at the state of that kitchen after last night. Ryan's got a busy day of cleaning, I tell you. Um, you have. I've got a busy day. I'm making candles today. No. Corey needs to clean. And doing some art. Why did we just go to a later class? Why are we going now? Because it's the only one today, babe. Have you been to spin? You don't look very sweaty. It wasn't that good, was it? You don't look like you didn't like the teacher, did you? No, he said in the end, um, if you're just gonna do spin, you're not gonna get anywhere, basically. But you're not. You need to be tackling all parts of your body, babe. And I was like, how do you know what people are doing? Like, how to assume? Like because you want to spin on Sunday morning, that's all you do. And like he was just like, he didn't do anything. Like I'm just like I got up early for that. And I feel like people have gone to that class like wow that was amazing. But we've had harder classes. And the music he was playing, what the hell was that? It was like not rock, it wasn't soul. It was like blues, like Sunday blues. I don't want bloody blues on a Sunday. I need bloody heavy metal music and a kick up my backside to get me going, not like find your centre. Jesus Christ. And now we're gonna take Roscoe for a walk with the other little Bostons. Um, which I'm excited about because I've actually got a Sunday off, so it'll be nice to actually join in. No? No? How do you feel about getting up early? Fine, I feel better now. We're all good. So if you take anything from this video, it's get up, you lazy mother mothers. Honey, we're home. Don't rush out once. Were you having a little snooze on the comfy sofa? Matthew, how many calories did you burn? Five. So I tell Matthew to put our washing in the thing yesterday, so it was nice and clean today. So I was like, I put it in the wash thing, but I didn't have time to put it on the wash. So I was like, text him, I was like, when you get home, can you just pull it in the wash? You said put it, it on the rack. You no, said I said, put it on the rack. I said pull it on. I said put it on the, the wash. Rack. On the wash, and then pull it on the rack. It yes, I did. It. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Anyway, and then I said to him on the car on the way home from the gym, it's like, did you, are my clothes uh, smell very, very fresh? And he was like, yeah, but I got it out. It wasn't even damp. And I was like, Did didn't you even bloody put these bad boys in the wash. I thought it was still a little bit gross. That's gross on so many levels. So yeah, they actually, need, mm. they actually need to go in the wash now. So after we take him for his little walk, he has no idea what's coming. I just want to go. Shall we not go? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna eat some Frosties quickly because I'm really hungry. Prince! Prince! Sniffing the bar. So cute. Ross gonna be fine when he sees the other dogs. <laughs> Let's get his love nut off. Oh no, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Oh! Yeah. Is it yours? Oh yeah. How are you? So cute. When did she start calming down? Really? Oh, look at her. She's still remembering when she's 
So we just finished our walk. It was so good. It actually turned out to be like a really, really nice day. It's actually really sunny. It was so, Bosco literally had the best time ever. He doesn't even want to say goodbye. I, there was another little Boston Terrier, so they were playing together. And there was this one dog, and like Bosco and um, Kira's dog, um, uh, James, kept like humping or going to try and like hump. And we had to keep getting them back. It was actually really, really funny. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go home. I'm. So, are you tired? I'm so tired. A little bit. I'm just hungry. Okay, enough. Try to get Vosco a shower, but he just won't say. Look at the mess he's just made. Stop trying to jump out. We've got it all over my tiles. Uh, <laughs> all over my tiles. Our tiles. My tiles. Our tiles. Enough. You're going to help, babe. Oh, Ryan's treated me. Ooh. Aren't I lucky? What have you got? Fat bag. We're gonna watch you take your first bite. No, Looks well gooey. I know. But thank you, Ryan. I really appreciate my... Shout yum. Someone's a little bit tired, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Really hard. Doing what? Being amazing. Wow. Pouchy cake. Really good, thank you. Really good, thank you. Should we go find walls in Hampton or not? I suppose so. So in Southampton, they've got lots of walls and old things. So we have thought. It's a leftover castle, Matthew. It's not. How do you know? Because I walk it every day, so I read. I get to read the little. Um, what, do you stop and read it on the way to work every well, day? Well, I've, I've, I've walked a lot of times, so I've managed to pick up little bits every time I walk, basically. So Ryan seems to think this is an old castle, and I've never, since living here all my the life. Whole the whole waterfront's the end of the castle, babe. Is it? 25 years I've lived here, and I don't think I've ever walked this bit. It's the castle. Is it? Yeah, because look, that's all of it over there. All down No, the those house. are flats. No. They're... How do you get up there then? You can't. Well, you can, right? Let's, Let's have a little wonder. Whoa. All the way down, that's a castle. And a yeah, I house. know. Well, why are you saying it's not a castle when it is a castle? Why are you getting so upset? Did you build it? Is it your building that didn't get appreciated? Did you build it? How cool that is! Wow, well, hi. You can see the sea. Oh my god, there's a house. If you go really high, you can probably see it. Oh, I'm scared of heights. Cool. Imagine exploring Southampton. Hey, very cool. Never been on this bridge in my whole 25 years of life. Scary! Oh, should we listen to Ryan's Instagram story? La 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 la. I've never even walked past this bridge. Oh my god, imagine. Thank you. It's actually quite cool. Imagine. Yeah, it's quite cool. Imagine. 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 I have the Ryan. Because I prefer the other one. Where is he? He's much cooler and funnier. So I actually don't remember the last time we vlogged. Oh, I'm doing a face mask. Um, let me get to it. So I think the last time we face, uh, FaceTime? Last time we vlogged was when we were in town. Um, when we got back, Matthew was editing the picture. I was, um, basically doing candle making. And I literally just put a face mask on because I'm about to jump in a nice hot bath. I've got some candles burning and then I got um the incense going um and I got my crystals just here ready to pop in the bath and then obviously a gin and tonic because that would be rude not to. Um let me show you the candles but I think Matthew is finishing editing now. You finished editing? Yes. Yes. And then I'm gonna have a bath for like ten minutes and then Matthew will jump in and I'll get out um because 
he could just top it up with hot water, but I'm just gonna go first. So my candles look like this. I made ten. Um, so they're all um, amethyst crystals with um, lavender essential oils, and then lap dried lavender pressed in with obviously some glitter and then these ones are drying at the moment so these are kind of what they look like actually before you put anything on they got like a really deep purple and um, I use these sticks not sticks but like pencils kind of just stick and um, make sure the wick stays centre and then once they're a little bit dry I'll start um, putting all the bits and bobs so I've got my face mask on Ryan's saging the house I'm saging the bar for you why do I want the bath sage? Just to give you some laugh. Okay. And then I've got my pumpkin bubble bath bomb from Halloween. Oh, that looks so good. And now it's my turn to get in the bath. Isn't it? Oh, Ryan, it smells. It's good for you. Oh. Yes. So I have literally got home from work and Matthew's mum's cars broke down. So he's basically had to go and pick up his mum um, from her work. Um, uh, so I've got home and Matthew had a do for dinner. I don't really know what he's filmed or what he hasn't filmed. But I come into this hat, this flat, and it absolutely stinks of just oaf and slothness. I don't know if that's the word, but just laziness. Um, so I've just put the duvet back. And um, I had a really nice day actually at work. I had um, did this customer's makeup today, and um, basically she um, has um, cancer, um, and she's kind of coming out of it now. Um, and like I saw, she came a few weeks ago, no, like maybe two months ago, and I did her makeup. And then she came in today and I happily recognised her. She just looked so much, she had a glow about her, um, a colour of her skin, um, she had colour. Um, she looked so much healthier and um, I'm just, so, it just, I just, I'm so happy for her um, that she kind of like, is like fighting this. Um, I think sometimes we forget how lucky we are when we haven't got an illness. Um, so I've kind of really spent time today when it's been a little bit quieter just to really reflect um, and how like fortunate I am with my life um, and stuff like that. And so should you, should reflect. And on the way home, I was listening to Daughter. Um, um, they're a band, well, not even a band, they're a group. They are a band, it's a band. It's a band called Daughter. Um, and it's just very like, it just, they're just, it's just beautiful lyrics and just beautiful singing and it's just very calming and like tranquil, it's tranquil basically. And um, I was walking and the moon was out and I was just, I like, it was the first time I've really stared at the moon in a long time. I just looked at the sky and just realised how like beautiful the sky is and the moon was. So that's really, really cringy. But like, God, I just feel like, I just don't know, I feel a little bit emotional today about it all. Hiya, can I have some attention please? Daddy, can I have some attention? Hey? Hey? Can I have some attention? Hey? Yeah? I feel like, um, I know dogs know when you're feeling a little bit like emotional, so I think he's around me because he knows I'm emotional. I would like to, I would like to think that, but I actually just think he just wants attention. Pet! <laughs> the cheese down. Ah. I'll have to put you under citizen's arrest. Put... Oh, it's good that you're doing it again for the camera. <laughs> put the cheese down. No, don't, I I, no, don't bend my banana. No, no. <laughs> if you do it, I'll eat your cheese cracker. Bye, boy. Go away, Matthew. Oh, your eyes look weird. Have you got contacts in? Get off me. I'll fire. I'll open fire. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you've been on your own all day, it's annoying. Oh, you're repeating that line again, are ya? <clears throat> Calling for backup. <laughs> PC plod, here he comes. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Go. Let me have that tiny no, half cheese trucker. No, you've eaten chips. You've eat, you're supposed to be on a healthy kick. Beep. You're not. I am. You're not. Look what I've got in my hand. Oh, can, bye, Bob. <gasps> Why have you done that? Well, I'm not eating that now. Yes, you are. I'm not eating yeah. it. <laughs> Turn the tap on, I'm washing that. No. Turn it on. Put the camera down. Turn it on. <laughs> Turn it on, otherwise I'm going to die. In five, four, three, two, one.
Put the stop it, babe. I don't mean that. Makes me hate you even more than I already do. That was deep, wasn't that? Go away. Go. Ah. ah. There we go. Cringe. <laughs> Cringe. That gym session killed me. Literally, we were supposed to do a 45 minute spin, turned into a bloody hour spin session. And I am, I am complaining because I had work all day and it was intense. It was intense, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't that bad. Jokes, I've burnt lots of Matthew's calories. Matthew's on a mission to just to wind me up. So he, I've discovered that Matthew is, um, he doesn't like being left alone for a whole day. And he says he likes his duvet days, but he just craves attention. So when I came home, I just got an overload of annoyance. Annoyance. Didn't I? I just felt really free today. It was really liberating. Hello, what's school? And then you came home and reminded me of how trapped I am. That's an awful thing to say. Let's take that back. Comment if you think Matthews tend to malicious, nasty person. It's a hard nut life for you. It's a hard nut life for you. You stink. You stink. You stink of soul. Matthew hasn't cleaned his teeth the whole day either, and he's got white marks. I have to clean my teeth today, you bastard. Oh, 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 o